Hello everyone, welcome back to Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time we finished up the bonus round in this arena, did some identifying and some resting, and now we are ready to step in the mysterious blue box and see what happens with this second... Uh, get the whole party in there. Second tile for this door that lays ahead. So there's both panels glowing. And we are able to climb up this side, or at least Faith is. Oh, everyone else is carrying on behind. Because you'll recall, as we came into this space, I saw this mysterious panel here, and there was no way to access it. But it looks like... A series of running, jumping, and scaling. It's going to get us round here. And alas, it's not treasure. It's only because this door didn't open back up on the way out. So, so be it. We had to find our eventual escape anyhow. Yes, no extra treasure rooms in here. But that's fine. We'll push this down. And escape. Now, given an opportunity to do so, I will most definitely move away from this door as fast as possible. If you're smart, go ahead, fools. Whilst mocking voices mock me in the background, I don't know if you heard those. But we will take a quite well-deserved long rest. 13 hours until we can re-long rest in our 24-hour interval. But that is absolutely fine with me. If it means we have our spell slots for whatever boss might potentially be coming through that door, I am fine with this. Do we want to change any of our spells? Um... I don't think so here. Pretty happy with what we've been using. Do we have hold monster? No. All right, we'll keep that. Gothic. I'm gonna drop Sleet Storm. I've never used it. I don't think I'm likely to use it. And take Blight instead. Don't know if the thing ahead of us is undead or not, but hey. And then over here... I think everything is fine. Oh no. Uh, we have one extra spell to prepare. Right, let's take Divine Favor, sure. All right, so long rest achieved. Full health, full spell slots are back. We can hobble on down here and see what's going on with the big, scary, glowing door. Because simply, we must find a way out and we can't go the way we've been. Let's go... Cautious, just on the off chance there's a trap or something behind here. Probably just a big fight, but who am I to know? That line could be a trap. Or, you know, the ominous red glowing could be a problem. The shaft of light, perhaps. Those statues look weird. Perhaps, but those chests look mighty real to me. But are we entitled to it? 
What do you mean? So far, we haven't met a living soul in this labyrinth. And your point? That we would be stealing from the owner. Nah. Spoils of war. But we want his help, remember? Stealing makes a bad impression, usually. Can we just take a peek first? We don't have to take anything. Just a look, right? If that chest is like a giant mimic or something... Well, it doesn't appear that the door is even an object that can be interacted with. It's too easy. Right then, let's go and poke the bear. Mimic. We have two air elementals and what I'm guessing are four earth elementals. And what I'm really scared about is the possibility we get pushed off this bridge and die falling down. I would really, really like to avoid that. So let's probably work on getting off this part of the bridge as fast as possible. If we could banish something for a minute and maintain that concentration, it would disappear. Possibly something to do at the very end of the fight. Flame strike is an option. I don't know that Black Tentacles is going to do too much against flying creatures that may be immune to the grappled condition. Can we get them both in confusion? We can't. Because there's a good chance they would just start attacking each other. A lot of options. A lot of options. Right, let's start here. It's a reasonable amount of damage. We'll get moving. Faith up next. Not going to be able to sneak attack this turn, I'm sure. So I think rather than taking a standard attack action, we will blur ourselves. Height. I'm sure the area around us is probably too big for it, but could we blind stuff? No. Far too big an area. So let's get back to here. And I'm just going to keep wailing on these two, I think. Forty fire damage. It's pretty good going. Right, first air elemental up. Great use of his high AC. Right now, we're going to want to get a cone of cone. Cone of cold going for as many as possible here. There's a chance we could get three if we were in the right place for it, but we can't get back to here to do that. So I think I might just keep attacking as aggressively as we can. 
causes massive psychic damage to hostile creatures around you. Yeah, that's not going to be ideal. Thirty-one and fifteen damage, respectively. That's nearly two foes down. We'll get to Kite's defensive range, and then worry about what these guys are all going to do now. Apparently, they don't want to float over the empty space. Oh God! You can cast Featherfall to prevent any damage. Cast Featherfall. No, Gothic's just dead. What? How are we going to get them back from down there? This is terrible. This is terrible, terrible news. It was the shoving off that I was really worried about. And evidently, I was right to be worried. Pastel. I would like a fifth level Guardians. Faith. We are currently blurring ourselves, which is great, so we can focus on our choice of sneak attack target. Let's go for the one... Where are we stood? Where is Faith stood? There. Let's hopefully go for one that we might be able to have a chance in Hell at Killing. Very close. Kite. Now, this is important. can't put this high enough to not put us in the blast zone which is terrible so we can hit these two air elementals and not hit pastel or we can hit these two mud ones. Or... Can we hit these three? Looks like we can. If we do right there... Alright, that's two down. Still not sure how we're going to deal with this gothic problem, but... We'll get there. 27 radiant damage is massive. Attacks of opportunity. Uh, yes for faith and yes for pastel. We'll spare kites because he can defend us if needs be. we spared our reaction. Excellent. We really need to heal Kite right now. Well, Kite is dying. We are still concentrating on our spell, which is great. Um, we can't do Cure Wounds 
with our shield out, unfortunately. So let's do a fourth level cure wounds on Kite. Decent dice rolls for that. Faith. Creature we're most likely to kill. Can't really tell that we have advantage against any of them right now. And the issue is, of course, oh, of course, we are at risk of opportunity attacks. But what we can do, not that, um... Perhaps this, and then that. It's worth something. Kite is on his feet. We are out of third level spells. Take another one of those, please. All right, three v three, but they're not very injured. But they are all targeted by the spirits, which is incredible. Kite is down again. Best concentration checks ever. Right. I wonder if here right now is healing Kite better or worse than just actually trying to get some attacks in. Especially when we could inflict wounds at like third level. Oh, that's a rough miss. That is a rough, rough miss. There's one death so fail. Thirty radiant damage is so strong. There's twenty three radiant damage. We've lost concentration on the spirit guardians, though. Pastel's nearly down. Maybe I should have gotten Kite up, hey? Guardian of Faith. Conjures a large spectral guardian that damages approaching enemies. Spell effects 20 damage, safe for half. Or we just get a fourth level one of these back up and hope that we can do something in the remaining turns oh it's so bad we needed that let's keep up those misses She's down, which also means the spell is down. Just faith left. Ow. And now 
Pastel's rolling death saves. If both of them die, Kite is dead. Gothic is dead. If Pastel dies, I don't know that Faith is able to cast the spells that would be required to get um, back up again. So let's disengage. And get Kite up. I can't get Kite up. I can't stand there. Please tell me I have a healing potion. But that's going to be no good to me if everyone just dies immediately now. Oh, come on. Pastel's down again. The problem is Pastel's up before Faith, which makes healing really a pain. Luckily, we're still concentrating on Blur. And we have lots of shield in us. So maybe between shields and blurs. Oh man, 16 misses. I thought about going back to the bridge so that they would have to form a line to try and attack me, but then we'd probably just get shoved off the bridge as well. Yes, all of the shield, all of the time, forever. Blur doing so much work. Oh. The party had no way to revive their dead. Game over. Try giving revive scores to characters who can use them. Well, I guess Pastel rolled a nat 1 on her death save and got two failures, which caused them to die. So, join me next time where we'll give that another go and hopefully Gothic won't get yeeted off the bridge immediately. In any case... Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.